Yo, what's good, YouTube? I am back in the video for you guys today. Now, this video is a request by, uh, I think it was Noob Gamer. If I'm incorrect, I will put the, um, the comment on the screen right here. But he wanted me to make a Mobamba build, so today I'm on my backup account, which is why you don't see my regular face scans or player face grace or whatever. But to make Mobamba, you gotta make him a center. He's right-handed. He wears number five for the Orlando Magic. And for Mobamba, this took me a while to think about because he can finish and he's a great shot blocker and rebounder, but he also has a strap for a center. So with that being said, I went with this pot chart right here. He's shooting in um, Greenland. Shooting, green, shooting and defense slash rebounding, aka the blue and green pie chart. So I went with this one. And he's an all-around player. He can jump. He's fast. He's he's a little bit strong. So I went ahead and went with the um the balanced pot chart to be just like him. But you could go with the speed or the speed invert. So I went with this one. First thing I did was max out his interior defense block offensive board and defensive rebounding that gives you 20 defense slash rebounding badges why well, i didn't actually max out his three-point shot midi and his free throw his free throw shoot isn't the best but you got enough badge points so why not just get this up there if you want more shooting badges i recommend putting this at a 60 uh, 67 i mean 78 i'm tripping if you couldn't go to an 80 but it doesn't get you any more badges so it's really up to you next thing i did was max out his close shot now even if you leave this at minimum 2K still has close out like a 40 something, like a 48, 46. So either way it goes, you're already higher than what his actual 2K has registered as. If you hear any background noise, you know that that's my sister in there. But mass off close shot, driving leg, driving dunk, and standing dunk. Boom, that is six finishing, 17 playmaking, no, I'm sorry, 17 shooting, one playmaking, and 20 like defense like rebounding. For these next points, you can put this towards post moves if you want to be that. If you want more defensive badges, put this towards these things right here. Um, play around with this, see if you get more badge upgrades. But what I would do is go ahead and put this on my post to, to give me 10 finishing badges, guys. Give you guys a second to take a look at this. You could upgrade your, your uh, pass accuracy if you want, but it's up to you guys. So in overall, well not overall, but in total, you have 10 finishing, 17 shooting, one playmaking, and 20 defense slash rebounding. Next, his body shape. Um, he's a very slim center. So I go like compact, that's good. Seven feet tall, 220 is his weight. Um, there you go. Strength goes down a lot though. Vertical and acceleration goes up. But if this was me, if this was me, I wouldn't I wouldn't go. Yeah, it's only 10 points over the max, so I wouldn't go there. I would just go ahead and max this out because look at your strength. You get a 94 strength. You only lose two vertical, I think like two two vertical, two acceleration, two vertical. You get a plus eight into your defense. And you want to only lose. You only lose two um, driving lay and one lateral quickness, which you don't really need that much. But to be like Mobama, I'm going to go ahead and keep it at 220. Just to be like him. He has a 7 foot 10 wingspan. If you want to be a better shooter, I'd minimize it or go like like um, the normal. As you can see, you get a pretty good um, boost to your shooting. But Mo Bamba has a very long wingspan, 7 foot 10. So it maxes out 94 inch wingspan. You would have a 91 block also. Strength drops, but hey, Mo isn't the strongest player on the court. So you got to work what you got. And for takeover... Um, I'll go with Rim Protector, which I think is a very good shot blocker. You could go with Glass Take. I think that's not really needed this year if you know how to be like a good rebounder. Or you could go with Sharp Takeover, aka Spot Up Shooter Takeover, because if you get if you get hot, you just automatic from behind the arc, midis, whatever, catch and shoot especially. But I'm going to go ahead and go with Rim Protector Takeover. I'm not sure if you can get a comparison to him, but I have both a Glass Cleaner. Similar to Hassan Whiteside, Mr. Robinson, and Jonas Valanciunas. But before I get into these animations and these baddies, guys, I would say drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Post notifications on. I'm at like 152, 53 subscribers right now. So I'm trying to get to 200 by the end of what month is this? I can't even think. I think it's April. No, it's only like five more days. But by the end of next month, I want to be at uh, 200 uh, subscribers. So if you guys can help me there, drop a like on the video. Get the video out there. Possibly even share it with somebody you know that likes Mo Bamba. Share my channel out there. But uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these animations. I'm going to get into these badges. 
and here you go guys here is his jump shot lower base 109 upper release 151 pretty smooth jump shot overall for, especially for a thing man i could just imagine what you would do with this on the guard um contested big free throw vince carter um layups and dunks pretty good packages overall nothing too flashy but i mean for for a be to be a big man seven feet tall pretty good dunk packages here's his post game if you're wondering what his fade and hook was dribble style of course he wouldn't have pro crossovers but um no pre-game but yeah guys drop a like on the video make sure you sub the channel with post notifications on make sure you're sub to the channel with post notifications on and i'm gonna go ahead and get these badges all right all right guys here i am with these badges i'm gonna start with the playmaking badges first since there's only one of those so for this one badge you can go with anything you want um quick first steps that, that really fits mobamba's play style so um yeah i feel like that will work and then next i will go with finishing um i go contact finisher He's pretty good off putbacks, so I get him silver. Um, Relentless Finisher, you could put that on. And you could put on something like Back Down Punisher. Take off putback boss, you could put on like silver. Not silver, but gold. Then just the Finisher, Pro Touch, Drop Stepper, Pick and Roller. Maybe even Lob City Finisher to get you a lot of rep. I know that's what you guys like to do. You get a lot of rep this year. So Contact Finisher and Lob City Finisher would be an ideal combo to do. As well as going as finisher. So um, this is something I will go with with my build. But um next I'm gonna do these shooting badges. As you guys always see when I do these type of builds, I go with the highest amount possible on quick draw. Okay, but uh I go with the highest amount possible on quick draw. I recommend corner specialist on at least silver and then catch and shoot on at least silver. Because if you guys get these two badges and with quick draw, it's going to be hard to stop you, hard to guard you. Because you can finish in the paint. But if your guard is like an ISO guard, he like to drive like a slash playmaker or a two-way slash playmaker. He can drive in. They're going to be forced to help out. Keep to you in the corner. That catch and shoot and corner specialist is going to kick in, guys. And with that being said, I also recommend like something like gold or Hall of Fame. Dead Eye. Hall of Fame works the most, of course. But gold is fine. I'm gonna go all the fans. The hot zone hunter on gold because you're probably gonna have hot zones in the corner if you are a um, shooting center. I recommend if you don't want like certain like say you like this. If you don't want catch and shoot because you have corner specialist, I go with gold green machine. Maybe even Hall of Fame. Um, volume shooter. If you want even gold quick draw, gold volume shooter. I don't think you need anything for the corner. You might for long twos, if you're gonna take a long twos. But for shooting threes in the corner, catch and shoot. This is my ideal um, badge layout for my shooting badges on this uh, mobile mobile, aka shooting glass lock. No, it's not a glass lock, it's what a glass cleaner. But it's still pretty much a glass lock, same pot chart. Next, with these defensive badges, I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on with a Hall of Fame Intimidator. I go Hall of Fame brick wall if you play with a guard. If you playing like uh, only one court, rim protector, rebound chaser, clamps if you want, chase down artist for show, and then pogo stick. The most, the most unbalanced, not unbalanced, but the most unskill worthy badge. Or, I don't know if I'm using that word right, but the most unskill needed badge basically. You can just spam triangle with your controller, and then. Pogo stick is gonna kick in, but if you're playing with a guard, um, I really recommend these badges all except for chasing on artists. I go with Hall of Fame brick wall, or like silver brick wall, or gold brick wall, then bronze, the silver interceptor, or you could do something like uh, gold and Hall of Fame or silver. But in the end, it's really all up to you how you want to be your badges. Mo Bamba is a very good rebounder and a very good shot blocker. Very long arm, 7 foot 10 wingspan. But with that being said, this is the end of the video. Uh, drop a like on the video, sub the channel, leave a comment if you made this far. Comment, um, comment sleeve, because I got a, I got a Nike arm sleeve right here. Just comment sleeve. 
Damn, I know you made it this far. Um, all I gotta say is enjoy the rest of your day, please. Evening, morning, nighttime, whenever you're seeing this, make sure you enjoy the rest of your day. But um, with that being said, guys, I'm Roshi. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.